Are you recording me, Tom? Alright, cool. Okay, we're gonna scope it. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Wrestling Guy store, let's give it up for former WWE Women's Champion and Intercontinental Champion, the ninth wonder of the world. Let's give it up for China! Right. And I was just wondering what kind of role you had there. 
Well, I'll tell you what kind of role they had in mind that they wanted me to portray was kind of the female Kevin Nash. Oh, because of my physique and because we had to build the character. You know, there was no way I could have done that if I would have just ran out and started like fighting everybody. And nobody wanted to fight me at that time anyway until I had, you know, paid my dues or proven myself. So that's what we modeled my character after was the bodyguard. Next question. When you had your intercontinental title run, did you get a lot of resistance from people in the back or was everybody pulling for you? Everybody was pulling for me at that point. Yes, a whole lot of people. No, okay. I could have never done that without the support of all, all of the guys. Next. What? Uh, whose original idea was it to put uh, the IC title on you? I'm sorry? Whose idea was it to put the IC title on you? I'm not sure. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was just going to say, when you got your IC title from Jeff Jarrett, um, I've heard he had some trouble during his final days with the company, so how did he feel losing the title to you? Jeff Jarrett was very, very supportive of me, and regardless of what his, you know, what was going on with with me and the company, he was always he was like ready to do the match. And like, don't worry, you know, don't worry about a thing. And I didn't because, you know, I, I thought felt it was an honor to work for, for him and what we were doing. But it wasn't like, it wasn't like, there was never a, oh, I'm giving it up to China, I'm giving the title up to a woman. It was just, you know, it was an IC match, that's what it was about, but it wasn't, there was never an issue of who he was dropping the belt to. Oh. Which was really cool of him, because it could have been the other way around, but it never was. Yeah, he also got his magic too, so it was, it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> From um, transitioning from a bodyguard into a wrestler, um, what type of support did the, the WWE and the wrestlers give you in terms of like training? Who was your, the main people that were helping you out, train you, and just running through matches with you? Well, there wasn't a whole lot of training, but I just kind of realized that just playing around that I was good at it and I kind of would go for whatever. Um, I didn't want to wrestle on my own. And that's when um, Hunter was starting to move into his storyline and they were starting to push me out on my own. And I, I didn't want to. I wanted to stay with Hunter because I didn't think that I could carry those matches by myself. I didn't think, I, I didn't have the confidence that I would be able to do that. And so uh, my first my first time out was with Road Dog, and it, within two seconds I realized that I could handle myself on the ring and we were having a good match. And then after that I was fine, but my initial my initial reaction to them separating me from Hunter was I didn't, didn't want to do it. Yes. I, uh, what's your current take on the Diva Division? Do you think they're portrayed as weak? Or are they better than back in the day, in your opinion? Wow, well, um, the last, the only, the last and only time I've seen the Divas Division was when I first returned back to the States and I watched the pay-per-view at Mick Foley. So, so I really haven't watched, uh, I'm really not in the know about any of the current stuff. Um, but I think that people are having fun and they have their own division and, and the people like them and you know i think of course you know i hope people like them i'm very happy for them yeah, yeah. was there any specific match or any specific opponent that you wanted to wrestle but never got the chance to 
know. I mean, I, from day one, I went out into the ring with Shawn Michaels, like, it flew out of the sky, it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and if I wasn't in the ring with them, I got to, you know, hug or embrace or be acknowledged by all of the greats that I know. So. Um, Shawn Michaels kind of had a really bad rep for having an ego at the same time you came in. Uh, would you say that's true based off your experiences with them, or do you always treat you good? Well, I think that the reputation for having an ego, what people don't know and what's really happening behind the scenes there are two very different things and behind the scenes of wrestling there's a lot of politics and there's a you know it's a tough business um i'm so i owe my career to sean michaels because he's the one who got me into the business not only that i think he was the most stellar athlete of them all Um, how does it feel that during the attitude area, you were the, the pioneer of wrestling at the time? Um, it feels great, and I love that. I guess I just never, like behind the scenes, there was never everybody was always like, oh, I want to be like China, I want to be like China. And I thought that was cool, but, you know, I was a, on a totally different level, you know. I heard some people say, well, I wasn't so friendly, or I was this, but I was wrestling 300 pound men, you know, and I was had a lot of pressure on me, and I, I just did my job, and um, I didn't really realize that that was paving the way for a lot of women until after the fact. Even now, I look back and I say, oh, wow, you know, because I felt, I didn't feel like I was in a diva's category, I felt I was in my own category, kind of. But um, it feels really great that that inspired inspired women to want to be athletic and want to get into the rest of the world. Yeah, that feels great. Because I see you as a pioneer. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that are really up to, you know, you know, like lead on their <laughs> Thank you. Now don't go running around beating up that oh, <laughs> Did you have any, um, in, in terms of like jokes or ribs, like played on you or you played on other people or anything that's, you know, funny that, you know, you like to share? Um, I will, I will say this. I was always very corny. I have a very silly sense of humor. And um, backstage, the guys used to line, you know, the sides of the hallways, and they would just talk, and I would be bored, and I would find some kind of prop or some kind of thing, and run out and do some dance in front of them or some weird thing, and everybody would go, <laughs> hey, China, you know, and entertain them, and stuff like that. But no, I never pulled any like kind of ribs or jokes or that's not really my world so and it's sometimes it's word lines there but yeah but I had a lot of fun with the guys like uh, road dog I used to like jump up in his arms and he used to do cheers backstage and sing songs with some of the guys and they were really fun with me I had a lot of fun with them how was it like with the late baby Guerrero? That was one of my favorite, favorite um, storylines, I guess you could say. And the reason I loved that so much was because it was an actual storyline. And I had always hoped that one day I would be in a telenovela. Oh. <laughs> so I kind of got to do that with Eddie. And um, that was kind of, you know, trivia for me. but. And, and plus the fact that he made me shine and he was so wonderful to work with and he taught me a lot in the ring. He was just very gracious. Wonderful. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, my next question I want to ask you, um, I know right now you say you kind of don't follow the product today, but um, I want to know your, your take on the WWE and the women's division. 
today. They're trying to make it more serious than it was back then. Like, they're making women more feel more respectful. They're putting more minutes into matches, like 10, 12, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're making it like, there's no longer a um, back and break match. It's, you know, they're making it like 10, 15 minute matches. And also, um, Charlotte, she mentioned that she, her goal is to make a women's match main event WrestleMania. So I want to wish you take all of all that. Well, first of all, um, like I said, I don't follow the product, but when I watched the pay-per-view, just everything felt very cold or very commercial, and it felt uncomfortable for me to watch. Um, I guess maybe because in my day, I'm thinking of storyline and the camaraderie that was happening between me and the other wrestlers, and when I'm watching that on TV now, I don't know anybody, so I don't have personal camaraderie so you know it's really but I but I suppose it could happen I suppose a main match could happen you know I, I, I would I would feel that um, it doesn't really need to happen like you know just to have like that time on TV and to be able to be doing what you're doing on TV is really cool I'd actually rather be an undercard with a Huge, huge main card. You can't imagine being that big that it would be a main card. Okay, I only have time for one more question. So, yes. What's the best opponent you ever faced in your career? The best one. There's just too many to say. There's too many. I could, I couldn't pick one. We still got time. We got like 30 seconds left. Who was who was idea was to come out with the fireworks with the gun? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a real good one. I was yes. that. Um, our prop guy, and I can't remember him. I can see, so I'm kind of bad with names. It's been so many years, but I should know or remember his name. But um, I think it was Robbie, our prop guy, and this is how they did the the bazooka ran out before and there was all these wires on the top and they said, Chan, ain't there, it ain't there. Go. <laughs> and that's what I did. And I never hit anybody. <laughs> all right, well I guess that's gonna be a wrap. We wanna thank you, China, for coming over. Okay. And find all the information and I invite you to go on the realchina.com. Okay? Awesome. Okay. And thanks everybody for coming out today. I really appreciate all the love. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs>